G double O D evening guys. This is my take on being a first time mom. This is a picture of my little one when we were in the hospital. They have like a photographer that comes and um, takes photographs. So this is one of the um, shots that were taken that we ordered online. Um, being a first time mom is great. It's the best job God ever gave me. Um, it's so rewarding just to see my little one progress in life. The first two months, I cried a lot. I mean, a whole lot because of the uncertainty of knowing what to do, the right things to do, what she need, and not knowing the unknown. Um, I didn't know what I ate affect her, and we ended up in a children's hospital. Um, like an overnight stay at the children's hospital. Um, that's a story for another time. <laughs> but now I'm good. Like, you need a circle of friends and family to be tight. Like, your, your circle of friends and family has to be, like, on point with everything. They have to be someone that you can trust. You have to trust your circle of friends and family because they are the ones who's going to hold you up when you feel down. Like, my circle of friends have it to where I have not bought my daughter is six months now I have not bought my daughter no item of outfit no item of clothing um, my family set up diapers <laughs> for her whole first year and I was just like I don't even know what to do with these diapers like um before um, I started reading a book um, what to expect when expecting um, my first time being introduced to any type of child was my niece. And at the time, she was three. Yeah, she was three. So she was in 3T. And I went shopping for her. And I was like, okay, well, how do you know what size she wear? And it was like, well, it goes by her age. So when one of my family members bought me diapers, and I seen the diapers, like, uh, I seen the, the ones, the twos, the newborns. And I seen a threes and I seen a fours. I'm like, she gonna be in diapers till she four? <laughs> but I didn't know that the diaper sizes was different from the clothes sizes. So you know, I didn't have no idea being a first time mom what to do until I read that book and my circle of friends bought that book. When her god mom bought that book, what to expect when expecting and what to expect the first year. And it's just like, that is like my manual. And so my circle of friends and family is so tight because they help me on the things that I don't even know. Like how my friends did all the mathematics to know what type of outfits to buy at the stages and the ages of what she will be at certain seasons. Like you have to really do your math on that. And my friends did that. I'm just like, well, how did you know that she would be this age <laughs> to wear that? I'm just like, we did the math. I'm just like, wow. So all I have to do is go in the closet, pick an outfit, put it on her. <laughs> So, yeah, your circle of friends and family have to be someone that you can trust because being a first-time mom, you can get a lot of misleading advice from people telling you um, what worked for them and making you feel like you should be like them. And all babies are different. And I'm going to say it again. All babies are different. Truly. Truly. I remember being on the phone with one of my friends, uh, not one of my friends, but I was on the phone with someone, and then I called my friend. I was on the phone with someone, and everything this person was telling me was the total opposite of what I was doing for my daughter. She's looking at me. What I was doing for my daughter, and so I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm doing everything wrong. I cried to one of my uh, circle of friends. It was like, I'm a bad mom. I'm doing everything wrong. Everything that I'm supposed to be doing, I'm not doing. And my friend said, Bree, calm down. She's alive. You're doing everything that you're supposed to do. You are a great mom. And that calmed me down, and I was just like, okay, get on track of doing what you need to do for your baby and not for someone else's saying what they doing for their baby so i'm saying this to all the first moms out there first time moms out there and all the moms you are the best thing since sliced bread for your baby you are you're the best person for the job 
out of anyone in the whole world. You are going to love your baby more than anyone in the whole entire world going to love your baby. You're the best thing for them, hands down. <laughs> so the first two months, I cried a lot because I didn't know what to do. The third and fourth month, I was warming up to learning her and reading more about what, what was going on with her at the time. Um, Zara, she only cries when something is bothering her and when something is wrong. That's the only two times she cried. So when she cried, my heart drops and I'm in panic mode because I'm like, what I got to do, what I got to do. Um, if I'm the one that's bothering her, I, I'm on apologizing mode. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry because I'm waking her up to change her diaper or feed her. And that's every two hours and she's just like, leave me alone, leave me be. <laughs> that was for the uh, third and fourth month. I was just like on the schedule, like on top of it. And she'd be crying like, I'm, I'm sleepy, I'm tired, leave me alone. And I'd just be like, I'm sorry, changing her diaper. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I gotta wake you up. And she crying with her eyes closed, like, eh. <laughs> But yeah, that was the only two times she cries is when someone is bothering her and when something is wrong. And when something is wrong, I'm in panic mode because I'm trying to figure out what's hurting my child to make her cry because normally she's a happy baby. Uh, so like the fifth month, I find myself laughing, laughing a lot about her finding out about her feet because I put her feet in her hand one day and she was just kept touching her feet kept touching her feet now she would not leave her feet alone it was so funny just seeing her find out different body parts that she has that she didn't know that she had and she just like constantly playing with them constantly playing with them <laughs> and rolling over she just rolls over and moves so much and I'm just like what happened to my little baby who sat still now that she's six months it's extremely exciting. We're going through the full stages, which I am so happy of. I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's so much stuff that I'm learning. But it's so exciting to see her funny faces and the faces she ma makes when she eats certain foods. She didn't want to sleep on me. <laughs> the certain foods that she eat, and she just be like, be trying them out or something that she really likes. She stick out her tongue and be licking her lips. I'm like, how do you know what to do? And it's so funny to see the faces she make when she's trying food off for the first time. It's so hilarious. Um, I got used to, um, I got to get used to her moving around though. Like this little girl, I'm used to the stages where I sit her down in one spot and she's there. Now she's at the stage where I sit her down and she moves. Even if I turn and look another way or if I'm standing right in front of her I have to sometimes put my hand on her waist like don't move don't move she's like I hear you but that's not like a person problem for you because I'm going to move <laughs> so she just find herself moving 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 and I gotta get used to her moving I gotta start blocking stuff for her to not move she's like to get her hands into things and I'm just like how are you learning this I'm like you just figured out about your feet now you just moving your little body around i'm just like she's trying to get into everything you guys everything i'm just like not used to it yet <laughs> wow but i'm loving these milestones and coming to realization that i'm a mom is amazing and it's just like i am responsible for this little girl's life and who she's going to be that's the the crazy part sometimes i look at her and i just be in a in a in a glaze like in a just mesmerized about how she's growing how she came from being a little baby to now a little bigger baby and it's just like you're my baby and I, i'm a mom <laughs> like, i cannot believe that i'm a mom and god gave me the gift to be a mom because i remember growing up and i was just like i want to get married and i want to have five kids and i was just like okay i'm happy with zara and I didn't even believe that I could be a mom and now I am a mom. So for all those moms out there, keep going. First time moms keep going. Um, the hospital had hooked us up with a baby group, which is for all the moms that first time parents that are in the same age bracket as Zara. And we get together three times a month. And now we have to do it virtual. But at first we was doing it like uh, as a group and we tell our stories about what's going on with the baby at this time and we can all relate <laughs> we had our first uh virtual online meeting last night and i thought like 
what's going on right now was affecting my child because when I would leave the room, she would cry for me. And I'm just like, I'm going to the bathroom, what's wrong? But I talked to a lot of moms and dads out there on the uh, virtual group and they are going through the same thing because we all like, it's 10 of us and we're all going through the same thing. And I'm just like, okay, so this is not affecting her. She doesn't have any ideas, so she's still the happy baby. So I'm just like, okay, no worries then. But at first I was getting down because I'm thinking like, oh my gosh, this stuff is affecting my baby, but it's really not. She's still happy and she's still enjoying it. She's just coming to the stage where she wants me all the time and when she doesn't see me or doesn't have me, she'll whine for me. If you wanna hear about my hospital tour turned into labor and delivery story, get this video right here to 1,010 subscribers and likes by the time Zara turns nine months and I'll make a video. Thank you guys for watching. And good luck to all you first-time moms. You guys can do it. You got this. And enjoy you guys' night. Like and subscribe if you like.